So you're thinking of moving to LA, in this video I'm gonna go through six things to know before doing so and make sure to stick around to hear the one mistake I wish I hadn't made when I moved here seven years ago. My name is Tyler Drinkwater. I am a local realtor here in Los Angeles. I am an East Coast transplant. I moved here seven years ago to be by this and live in this wonderful climate, which brings me to number one, the weather. If you're moving like I did from the East Coast or another area that has seasons and you felt like you had to be outside every day when it was nice out, well, here's a new feeling to get used to in Los Angeles. The feeling of guilt for not being outside when it's nice because it's nice literally all the time. It's hard not to be outside every day when you first move here because it's such a foreign feeling to be in 70 degree and sunny weather and try and go to the beach as much as humanly possible. Speaking of the beach, not all of LA is by the ocean. LA is actually broken down pretty much perfectly like a compass, north, south, east, and west. In the north, you have the valley, which tends to have a lot of value, and folks tend to move there to find bigger houses, bigger apartments, and cheaper cost of living. The east is more of the artist community. If you're from New York, it's like Brooklyn. If you're from Boston, it's like Somerville, Alston, Brighton area. The south bay and the west side are where you find the beach communities. If you're looking for that, you're gonna wanna be in where we are right now, Pacific Palisades. Santa Monica, Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, Redondo Beach, all the way down. Before moving to Los Angeles, I hadn't had a car for over 10 years. And when I came here, it was the first thing that I did and I was super excited by it. Because unlike New York and Boston, public transit is not really a thing. I knew that there was a public transit system, but when I got here, I realized nobody really takes it. Unless you're going to a game at crypto.com or SoFi, everyone drives. And that comes down to even short distances. Walking is not really something that people do for long distances or what would be considered a long distance in Los Angeles. If you walk 10, 20, 30 blocks in New York, it's nothing. But to go grab a coffee, you're probably gonna hop in your car. That leads me to my next point, which is something that I researched when I came from New York to LA. I was looking for something that had some convenience similar to what I was used to in New York. And that's where I found that LA has cities in cities. When I made my move from New York to LA, I wanted to try and keep some of that local convenience that New York has and have some walkability. And that's when I realized that Los Angeles has cities within cities. So I looked at Culver City, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica. Those all have vibrant restaurant, bar scenes, there's stores, there's grocery stores, there's everything you need. And so if you do wanna push off having a car and keep things a little closer to where you live, it is possible. LA is consistently voted one of the most expensive cities to live in in the country. I came from Boston and New York, two of the other most expensive cities to live in the country. So here is my tip to avoid the mistake that I made. When I moved from New York to LA, I took what I was paying in rent in New York and then tried to find something that was the same price in LA. And what I found was amazing. I got a huge apartment with tons of amenities in a new building that was completely opposite to what I had in New York. What I came to find out is that I didn't need to do that. I could have had a bigger apartment than I had in New York in a great location in Los Angeles with all of the amenities and paid way less. There is an opportunity to find incredibly high quality, affordable apartments. They're going to be more expensive than the rest of the country because, I mean, look at this. This is what you're paying for when you live here. But you don't have to take your rent from a city like Boston, San Francisco, New York, another major metro, and apply it dollar to dollar here. Lastly, this is something that took some getting used to. Strip malls. They are everywhere in Los Angeles, and most of them look exactly like they did when they were built in the 60s, 70s, or 80s. And if you told me seven years ago that the best sushi I would have in Los Angeles would be in the valley, in a strip mall that was surrounded by pet food stores and P.O. boxes, I would think you are absolutely crazy. But that's exactly what it is. The original Katsuya is in a strip mall in the valley on Ventura Boulevard, and it is absolutely my wife and I's favorite place to go for sushi. So there you go. Six things to know before moving to Los Angeles. I am sure that you have more questions. Drop a comment down below so that I can answer it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you thought this was interesting. I'll be doing more videos on what it's like to live in Los Angeles.